Security in Rockford, and so I'd like to begin, welcome those who are joining us for our sixth speaker um, with our guest Maria, and uh, we have our international business developer Maria, uh, uh, Emma, I'm sorry, Emma, <laughs> uh, she's here with us, as well as our Swedish ambassador Linnea Bankson, who will be moderating today's speaker. Um, if I haven't met you yet, my name is Alex Fox. I'm the Executive Director of Swedish Historical Society, and we are very excited to bring a program that connects Sweden directly to Rockford and those joining us outside of Rockford via this platform. So thank you so much all for being here. Um, we do ask that you stay muted throughout the program, but if you do have questions, please submit them through the chat box so that way we can field them to our guests. So with that, I would like to turn it over to our international business developer, Emma Gordon, to go ahead and talk about um, who she is and her connection with Rockford. Go ahead, Emma. Thank you, Alex. Uh, my name is Emma Gordon, and I work as an international business developer for the city of the Chapping, Scarborough, and the city of Rockford. And we work to, or I work to enhance business partnerships and uh, business opportunities between our cities and this partnership was first put in place in 2006 uh, but I first came across it in 2019 when I first met the in, in Rockford while I was there as a student at Rockford University and then I took over this position in 2020 so last year and I'm very happy to be working with this and to get to be a part of this great opportunity to to create opportunities to meet meet over uh, yeah digital platforms and i also wanted to announce some great news that are probably new for everyone here and that is that our local university here or our local high school in the chopping has been um, they have gotten a grant to send eight students and two teachers to Rockford probably next year to be studying in Rockford for a few weeks. And we are, so we are very happy with that. We got, the, got the, the news last week and we are starting to plan our trip as soon as the world opens up. That was all for me. Thank you. Oh, that's so exciting. Thank you so much, Emma. We are so excited to hear about that. And uh, we will go ahead and I'm, I'm sure we will be working together, but please keep us updated. And yes. I can't yes. wait to hear about the whole project. All right. Well, with that, I'd also then like to introduce the moderator uh, today, our, inter our Swedish ambassador, and the hostess with the mostest, <laughs> who always helps our guests to field the questions and to be able to, um, you know, introduce them to Rockford is Linnea Bankson. Thank you, Alex, very much. And uh, welcome to everyone to our sixth FICA. Uh, today, we are very honored to have Maria Fadlegård, who is the guest of honor, and we will hear from her in just a few seconds here. Uh, this is, like I said, the, the sixth FICA, and uh, everyone uh, previously has been recorded, so if you have missed them, you can uh, let us know, and we will send you uh, the link. We've had a wide range of uh, FICA guests. We started with uh, Jennifer Ottosson, uh, General Manager of TI Automotive in uh, Lidköping, and former uh, GM at Leax in Falköping and Tidaholm. Uh, and then we had uh, Joakim Frigberg, CEO of Jula. And then Cecilia Videgren, member of the Swedish Parliament, Pascal Shibanda, uh, communication director of the city of Katrina Hall. Uh, and last time we had Annette Larsson, who is a teacher at the De La Gardie Gymnasium in, uh, in uh, Lidköping. And speaking of De La Gardie, what great, great uh, wonderful and great news, Emma, to hear that the partnership will move forward with the educational exchange. That is just fantastic. Great. And great uh, uh, patience on your end, Emma, <laughs> given the time you entered this job. and. COVID have, uh, happened, so that's great news. So uh, over to our guest of honor today, Maria Falegård. I have only met Maria a few times. Uh, the first time was actually not in Sweden, it was somewhere else, which we might get into. 
Uh, but she is just a wonderful person and a very interesting uh, person. She has a lot of skills. And I will start by asking, who is Maria Falegård? That's kind of a big question. <laughs> um, I am uh, privately or or professionally. I I am an, an entrepreneur in fall shipping since 20 years uh, back. I started my company when I was like uh, 24, 25 somewhere. Uh, I have an reclam bureau with that. Uh, advertisement firm? Advertising, yes. yes. Advertising agency. So I do, I write texts and I do graphic design. I'm an illustrator. Uh, we even do um, like um, uh, texts on, uh, on uh, striped cars and things. Um, so we, we do a little of, of all, uh, even home pages. And we help people learn about advertising, Facebook and Instagram and, and that kind of thing. Um, so that that's my my uh, biggest uh, profession. Uh, I also uh, uh, write a lot. Uh, I write uh, chronicle. You say that uh, for the local newspaper. Um, since a couple of months back, um, I just couldn't say no. <laughs> I love words so much. I've always uh, loved writing. So. I hope someday, I, I've always said I'm going to write a book, but it's a problem. I don't know what it's supposed to be about. So I, I have many years left, so I maybe I will reckon that in the future. Um, I'm also involved in um, uh, Företagarna, uh, Swedish, uh, Swedish Association for um, Business Owners. It's uh, an association, uh, national association and a re regional say that and uh, also local for networking and stuff like that so also since about 20 years um, and that that means a lot um, it's I have I through the years uh, you understand that it's easier to um, say what you think and get things done uh, than you than I thought it would. Uh, even from a small town, a small city, it, it can be done <laughs> with the right connections and networking and stuff like that. So it's kind of amazing. Uh, that was a professional thing, uh, I think. I also, uh, I'm, I'm also engaged in, in um, leader uh, also um, an association in, in Sweden works with now I need Linnea's help with translating so it's it's uh, a landsbygdsutveckling <laughs> yes which is a very good and long Swedish word uh, it's a local development group that helps yeah. uh, with the countryside and also in smaller communities to apply for grants and uh, you're on the board and you're also the chairwoman of the association of the business community advice advice yes. yeah yes yeah so that kind of really gives me gives me a lot of energy. And I, uh, what do you want to know more? I live here, Paul Chopin, in a house. Um, we have a new family. Uh, it's me and my Niklas is his name, and he his uh, two kids, and my three kids, and uh, the the kid we have in mutual. It's a big dog, <laughs> about sixty five kilos, named Napoleon. Um, so that's uh, that's my uh, my life kind of, and I run a lot, I sing a lot, I read a lot. Wonderful, thank you for sharing that. Um, have you been to Rockford, Illinois? Yeah, <laughs> I have. Uh, I when you uh, asked me to come here, I. You know, the memory is not always that, always that close uh, as you want it to be. So I had to go uh, go look at my photos from a couple of years back. And I think it was like five years back, 2017, I think. It was in uh, 16. In, uh, 16. 16. Oh. Yeah, I looked at the photos. In the autumn. In yeah, the autumn. yeah. Yes. 
uh, and I was there with the uh, some local politicians and uh, also other business owners, one other business owner and um, for a couple of days. It was really interesting. Uh, and we went to, to different, um, we met other business owners and some organizations. Linnea put together a great program for us. Yeah, it was, uh, I don't, I'm not going to ask you to uh, repeat everything we did, but we went well. at the same time <laughs> as uh, Belvedere's mayor, Mike Chamberlain. He had his re-election campaign. So that really kind of what started the, the partnership there. So we went to Belvedere, went to Rockford to Superior Joining Technologies. Teresa Bicillo, she's a member of our organization. Uh, Anderson Japanese Gardens. We had lunch with David Anderson, also a member of our organization. Um, Swedish Historical Society, of course. Um, probably Stockholm Inn. We did a lot. Chicago. I know Karin Abercrombie, the Council General, is on here from Chicago. I'm not sure we met, but we went to SAC USA or SAC Chicago. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a, we did a lot. Yeah. 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 And it was with the mayor of Paul Shopping, uh, the yeah. late mayor, Connie. And yeah. Yeah. yeah it was, oh, we went to uh, Meadowell, a train uh, manufacturing sort of company in uh, Love's Bar, called Bechastin Park. So it was good. So it was a business focus uh, trip. And it was also when we uh, lead shopping in Rockford to celebrate 10 years of anniversary. Yeah. 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 Um, Anything that else? That was a good trip. trip. Yes. Anything else <laughs> you want to uh, share from your trip to, to Rockford? Uh, no. I, like you said, I, the memory, you can't pick out the details. Uh, but the feeling is always um, that you are so uh, stuck in what you do in your own little bubble. <laughs> and it's kind of great hearing someone else. I mean, we were, um, I don't know which company uh, this was, but I remembered that the uh, man who spoke to us there uh, really said that we, the thing we, we Swedes all, we already know that, but we're, we're kind of bad at saying what we're good at. Uh, we excuse ourselves <laughs> uh, a lot. Uh, so it's very, it was kind of hard. <laughs> You have to shape up. <laughs> um, I think we have, yeah, we have a lot to learn, of course. So it's, it's kind of it's a great trip, great. And I think that's a that's one takeaway that usually all the delegations say when they return to Sweden that the yeah. uh, the training of promote yourself and talk good about yourself and your business is a struggle perhaps for us in, in Sweden. So it's a good yeah. good way to learn to do that. Yeah. Uh, and then obviously yeah. do it in your cultural context back home so you don't come across this uh, too much which is always the challenge I think I struggle with it at least when I work there but yes um, and I, I think we we know I, I know that we know that we are good I know that we we all know that we are good at what we do otherwise we wouldn't we wouldn't uh, we wouldn't sell uh, the services or the products or of course we wouldn't <laughs> and but we some somehow we we have a hard time saying that, but we know it, and that's yes. a good start. We have <laughs> yeah. the Swedish <laughs> Jantelag, so we're, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Um, but that's uh, and and I want to add that before we move on to the to the last question. But uh, kind of what led up to your trip to Rockford was that the year before, uh, the United States ambassador Mark Brzezinski. Uh, to Sweden, he biked on his bicycle from uh, Gothenburg to, to Stockholm because he wanted to see the real country. And he stopped in fall shopping of all places, which is great stuff to do, of course. And uh, we met, uh, your co-workers and I met with him, and then uh, he kind of uh, um, pushed fall shopping perhaps a little bit to, to expand on the partnership. And that led to the connection to the mayor of Belvedere. Uh, so then he came to, to Sweden. And then you guys came over to, to Belvedere in Rockford and Chicago. So that's always important with this global uh, relationships. Yeah. And on that note, I want to add too that two days ago we had the German ambassador to Sweden, Dr. Anna Prince. She came to, to the Holm where I work. 
and I told her about the partnership between Scottaboy and uh, Rockford, of course. So maybe something will come from that too. But there's a lot of uh, German connections, obviously, since those are our biggest trade partner in Sweden. So always good to have those connections. Yes. Um, can you, Maria, please uh, share with us a quote, uh, a saying that maybe you have that you like? And can you do it both in Swedish and in English, please? Yes, I can. I love quotes. <laughs> well, I have two, if that's okay. It's um, more than okay. Yes, go yeah. ahead. <laughs> uh, I had a hard time uh, choosing one. Uh, I have one that's Gräv där du står. I'm not sure about the translation, but it would be like dig where you stand. Um, and it's, of course, about not looking too far ahead. Um, beware of where you are in the heart and in the head and use that strength. Uh, I love that quote. It says a lot. Um, and also, uh, we all know Astrid Lindgren. Uh, and her quote, I, I collect, uh, there are coffee mugs about this big um, that the De Design House in Stockholm has have made. So they they make them in different colors and in every cup um, or every mug there there's a um, quote uh, from Astrid Lindgren's uh, stories. It's really beautiful. So you can pick one in what kind of mood you are that day. <laughs> um, but one, uh, let's see, I, I think I wrote it. I would get it right for you. I should have taken it in Swedish first. <laughs> um, Allt stort som skedde i världen skedde först i någon människas fantasi. And this is uh, so beautiful because it means everything great that happened in the world happened first in someone's imagination. I think it's so extremely beautiful and also about inner strength and that you, uh, you can't just say that people are crazy when they come up with stuff because it has to start there with like a little seed or an idea uh, a crazy idea often that um, that has room to grow so that's uh, that's my two favorite quotes <laughs> beautiful those are perfect the last one i have not heard that's really good that's yeah. really good yeah i need to Beautiful. buy that cup yeah that's good yeah <laughs> i do have a question if you can purchase the cups and yes you can buy them right at the store but yes in, yes on the web or here in yeah. of course instead of yeah 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 oh that's great really great uh can you can you read them in swedish two of them again slowly uh yeah both both of them uh grav där du står uh, dig where you are, or dig where you stand, maybe. And uh, the other one in Swedish. Allt stort som skedde i världen skedde först i någon människas fantasi. And that was everything great that happened in the world happened first in someone's imagination. That's really great. Thank you. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. Really good quotes. Um, and thank you for taking the time to be our guest of honor at this uh, thank you. Today, Maria. Yes. Thank you for having me. I think I want to met you. I've got twice. some cookies. Yes. When I when I sat down by the computer, I I reckon I, I should have have some cookies also, and not just coffee. Cookies are some, Swedish thing. Yes. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yes. And uh, I mentioned to Alex before we got a line here that uh, in two hours there's a Swedish match uh, in the European uh, soccer, uh, Sweden against Poland, so that's a big deal for several of us. And uh, then on Friday is midsummer in Sweden, so it's a big uh, happy week for us. So it's uh, a lot of fun things coming up and then starting Monday is kind of the big vacation first period for a lot of people. We are so lucky in Sweden to have so many vacation uh, weeks so uh, that's kind of starting now to slow down in, in Sweden on that end uh, and we will take a two-month break from the Fika with the Swede to follow the Swedish tradition to kind of um, I mean we're still gonna have Fika of course but not in this setting and then we will get back together in after Labor Day sometime so please be on the lookout on the Swedish Historical Society Facebook page for who those guests will be 
Um, and uh, we do have an extra bonus that we would like for you to keep an eye on Swedish Historical Society's Facebook page after this, because uh, Maria is uh, uh, humble, but she is extremely talented, as you can tell, but she's a, a very uh, talented singer. And I kind of asked if she could do a little singing and she was kind enough to send us a recording of the Swedish national hymn for us. So I will post it on Facebook afterwards. I've already listened to it about 164 times and will do so <laughs> again. It's, it's beautiful. So thank you for doing that. And it will be very appropriate to, to finish this uh, series with that. So a big thank you to Emma, of course, and best of luck moving forward. And a big thank you to Alex for everything you do and to all our members and supporters of Swedish Historical Society. This is a lot of fun to do this together. And with that, I wanna say thank you and then hand it over to, to Alex to wrap up. But thank you, Maria, so much for taking the time thank you. for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you all for being here. Um, for those of you who are in Rockford, we are having a modified midsummer celebration coming up on Saturday. Uh, June 26th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. So if you'd like to join us with the, in the Nordic Cultural Center, we're having a Mormor Zadig sale and some Swedish vendors. And then we will also be putting up a Tremay poll um, for people to take pictures around. So we really do hope you can join us in person for this. We're excited. And uh, any of your other celebrations you may want to do at home, we have recipes and videos available also on our website, www.swedishhistorical.org so that you can start the celebrations traditionally on Friday, as they should be, and then join us the next morning um, for the sale. But thank you so much. Um, this recording, as well as other recordings, will be posted on our website. Um, so you can look back and share, please, and then do join us um, this Saturday and then coming up in September when we rejoin. But otherwise, we really appreciate all of our guests, Maria, Emma, Linnea and all of you, thank you very, very much for supporting this program and the Swedish Historical Society. Um, have a wonderful day. Hey, doll. <laughs> hey, doll.